Williams. I am the board president of the Haddon Township Equity Initiative, the local nonprofit that's responsible for the Haddon Township Pride Parade, and last three days worth of events in 2022. So we started events off this year with Thursday's parade on Haddon Avenue, where we welcomed 11,000 people to our small town, hosted a parade and after party in the square. On Friday, we host our community night at Haddon Square, where we welcome 25 local organizations, hospitals, nonprofits, and resource-based entities um, that provide community resources to members of the LGBTQ plus community. We also had Iris Spector here, who was our wonderful Quizzo host, as well as Drag Queen Entertainment that did uh, a drag lip sync battle. Um, with eight queens who battled it out and danced for their lives. So that was a wonderful opportunity for the community to gather and fellowship. And today, we are at Pride Fest, hosted at Soha Arts Building. This event is hosted by Camden County, where we welcome local vendors and artisans to sell various products. They're members of both the LGBTQ community or ally base, and they um, provide all types of resources. We also have local entertainment, bands, individual artists, painting, um, and we had Drag Queen Entertainment here, Drag Queen Storytime. We did a Drag Queen Story Time for the Kids, so it's a very uh, family-based event. We have been absolutely blown away by the turnout for all three events for our second annual Haddon Township Pride Parade and event. Something notable that was different this year versus last year is the fact that while we were planning last year, we were still very much living in a COVID world where folks were not necessarily back to work, back to life, back to school. This go around everyone, including our board, our volunteers, our community members have all been back to life. So in order to create these three events, it's required a lot more balancing of our regular work and our volunteer work on all levels because HTEI is 100% volunteer run and donation based. And yet, Somehow, we pulled it out with bigger crowds and an even more overwhelming sense of love and community. But this year, we saw even more participation, even more attendance, we have more vendors, and we really honed in on our focus to both educate and celebrate, which was our theme for this year. And we do that through our events, which have both an outreach community-based component and an education-based component. Historically, Pride has been something that's viewed only happening in big cities, and folks travel outside of their hometowns to find a safe space to be themselves. And HTEI saw our town as a place where we could create that space and have it be something that isn't just a city event, but something that can happen anywhere. We can create space for everyone and truly be the community where everyone thrives. We hope that attendees that uh, come to our events walk away feeling like they have both learned something they didn't know and unlearned something that they may have thought or um, learned from exposure. We try our best through exposure to bring people into a community they may not be too familiar with. Um, and we are so happy that people come out and we have the opportunity to both entertain and educate them. We hope that everyone who leaves here feels welcome, um, not judged, accepted, seen, and loved.